below YouTube. The YouTube user Bernie the Ender has already countered a pissing and moaning article to Late Daily by Lauren Martin titled, They Just Don't Make Men Like They Used To. However, I would like to also counter that article with another one Ask Men by John Bastic titled, Men Drought or Raining Down Women. <coughs> it can't be just me. Who wonders, is there really such a thing as an Aussie and man drought, or is it more the case that it's actually raining down women? Men will walking into any bar or nightclub and have sexuals with most women regardless of salary and occupation. She could be a checkout chick or a high court judge. Three blokes don't care as long as she's not painfully annoying or eventually requires a police restraining order. Very simply my theory on the man drought. Read propaganda made up by annoying women. It is based on the loose science I have just this second made up. Women have been conditioned to shag upwards. Be it through the shit TV shows they watch or all the crappy magazines they read. They all want this Brad Pitt look alike. On a million dollars a year who has three porches parked at his beach house. Sadly however this man simply does not exist. And even if he did, Jody Mears Packer would have married and subsequently fleeced him years ago. For this reason am I wrong in surmising that the women most likely to piss and moan about the apparent man drought are white collar and middle class with exciting jobs in PR and media sales. And whose favorite topic of conversation is shopping and hair dye. This leads me to the brazen assumption that the problem's actually not us blokes. Could it be? Dare I say it? A fault of all the single ladies. All these single ladies. So in reality it is not a man drought at all but rather it's a no rich bloke with fair be ogred looks a stack of fast cars and a whopping cock drought. I'm guessing most of these women who are claiming they can't find a fella have some sort of tertiary education. A city job makes 72 80 k and would be considered moderately attractive. However when they walk into a bar full of tertiary educated city working 72 80 k moderately attractive single men They'll claim there's no good men to be found. If Animal Kingdom has taught us anything, it's that you need to mate within your own gene pool. Sadly, it's extremely rare that you get to mate outside of it. Save for Princess Mary or Jody Mears Packer, who are obvious exceptions to the rule. So the tip is simple. Don't mate up. Mate across? Well, we men do it all the time. We'll mate downwards, sideways, upwards, even vertically and circumferentially. And that's why we blokes are getting late and these women whining about the man drought. Have their vajayjays turned to dust. Waiting for Mr. Wright to turn up. And while we're on the subject. A 400 buck pair of the sassing buys. Some Terry Biviano pumps and a fake Prada handbag is no compensation for an utter lack of personality. And being a stuck up. Charisma for humorless bitch. So don't get all snooty waiting we blokes don't drop our beers and come running over to swoon at your overpriced ensemble. In all truth we don't give a pig's prick. That your six inch heels make your ankles bleed. And that you spent the past nine weekends searching for your guinea pig skin tote bag. Am I being too harsh? Misogynistic even. I'm sure female readers will let me know. However in their defense. When women claim there's a stack of pretty creepy blokes out there. I'm pretty sure there's a fair amount of truth in that too. Perhaps all the good men are at home choosing collar patterns for the kids nursery with their wives. End article. Don't. Walmarts are stupid. Thanks for watching.